What is the wrong thing to do with it? What are you supposed to uh, uh, do with the placenta? And like I mentioned last week, uh, lots of people talked about burying the placenta. Where are you supposed to bury it? What happens if somebody comes there and digs it up? 99.3, hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? Yeah. My name is Chinewa. Chinewa, talk to me about placentas. Hello? Yes, I'm hearing you. Go ahead. Yeah. I hear what you're asking Yvonne. Mm -hmm. I know Yvonne will never believe it. He, he, she will not believe you now. I know Yvonne likes dog meat. Okay. So, what I'm saying is that when I give birth, I give birth. Mm. Anytime I give birth, my, my own father is carrying my own. You understand me? Okay. Hello? I'm hearing you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Your husband carried uh -huh. your own. Yeah. He, he carried, but I've not asked him the reason why. He, he, he always demands for, for, for my placenta. Mm. I don't, I've not even asked him the reason why he always do that. Is your husband in the house right Maybe. now? Uh, yes, he would demand for it and they'll give it to is, him. Is he in the house? Is your husband in the house right now? I said my husband, my husband. Yes, is he in the house? Is your husband around now? Are I you, don't know whether you understand me. Are I you, I'm I asking if you're hello? with... I'm asking if you're with your husband so that we can give him the phone so he will tell us why okay, he demands no, no, for no, it. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. That works. Okay, okay. So we don't know why, but he always asks for the placenta. Yeah, he, he will just carry it. I don't know whether... I'll, I'll ask him when he comes back, whether he throws it away or he buries it or he flushes it. I don't, I don't even know. Okay, all right. Thank you very much for calling. 99.3. Yeah, good, good, good evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? Yeah, my name is Gabriel. Gabriel, welcome. Talk to me. Yeah, I my I don't, I don't even know about my work. I did ask my father. So me, I don't really believe all these things. My son, though, my mm. first son, mm. I buried my my daughter. Mm. I didn't even see where to bury, bury that one. I took it for over 12 hours. Mm. I threw it across the sea. Oh. Uh, my last one, I didn't know. My, I think my wife. And do that one. Okay. I don't know. I don't even know if you're not born in a city. Where do you go to throw it? <laughs> where do you go where do you, where do you go to bury it? You put it inside our shoe now. You throw it inside our shoe. Yeah, to me, I don't really believe all, all the nation so much. Yeah. But is there any belief? Is there any belief attached to it? Yeah. Yeah, all right, Gabriel. I don't, I don't think uh, people can hear me over the phone. I don't know what's happening with that. We'll try and sort that out. Um, because, again, that's my big question. You know, um, do your beliefs or your culture require you to take your baby's placenta? What's the specific belief behind that? What are you supposed to do with the placenta? If you do the right thing with it, what happens? If you don't do the right thing with it, what if it happens? Waiting be the belief, waiting be the culture where say you must carry the baby placenta. Waiting be the specific belief. What are you supposed to do with the placenta as you carry and so? Waiting be the right thing to do with them. And if you do that right thing, what if it happen? Uh, if you don't do the right thing, what if it happen? Where are you supposed to bury them? Because plenty people, almost everybody we don't call so far, they talk say, talk say yeah, and I bury them, bury them. Wait, where are you supposed to bury the thing? And Gabriel asked a very interesting question. He said, for those of us that live in the city, where are you supposed to bury it? I suggested throwing it into the sea, you know. But what could that do if there's like a spiritual side to placentas? What does burying the placenta of your baby in the sea, you know, throwing the placenta of your baby into the sea, what does that mean for your baby? Because like I said last week, People called me and they said, if dog carries your placenta, it means that child will be promiscuous. Again, I don't know. I'm just asking the questions here. And then if you bury it and somebody goes there and digs it up, what does that mean? What, what are the implications of that? 99.3, hello. 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 Hi, how are you? All right, um, I'm actually a medical doctor, but even in my short practice, we've been taught to um, what the right word to appreciate spirituality and a lot of things that we can't answer in science. Mm. So, as much as people say that placenta has no value, mm. there are actually spiritual significance of some things. And tell me about even it. in my culture, we have seen where people will take placentas, mm. go and plant it, mm. and use these things to control people. And then you hear stories later. When they are giving deliverance in church, someone come and confess mm. that they've been using the person's placenta over time. Mm. There are a lot of things we don't understand mm -hmm. about humanity. So, so, no uh, so, how much so, so scientific. Hello, can you, can, can you hear me? 
Yes, I can. can. Okay, fantastic. So you're a medical doctor, right? Yes. Is there a proper way to dispose of the placenta? Because it's medical waste, right? Yes, it's medical waste. If we're in a safe country, mm. if we're in a country, normally there's way medical waste is disposed. Mm. So if we were in a safe country, um, the, how would they dispose of the placenta? Well, um, they use um, what the, what they call it. All these things where they use to do cremation on high high intensity heat and mm. all those things. To so they cremate it, cold. right? They they cremate it. Yes. So if there's spirituality attached and you cremate placenta, what are the spiritual implications? Since you're a medical doctor who also believes in the spiritual. Yes, I I don't think there are any spiritual implications to that. I feel like it is spiritual when there are people that are actually spiritual that interfere with those kind of things. The same people take organs and do certain things. But so, if nothing if there is no interference and it's left on its own, whether it's to decay, mm, whether it's buried in the ground, mm, so far there is no impact. Yes, um, a little birdie told me to remind you that it is never too late for you to pick up your phone and uh, star 347 star 880 hash to cost you 200 naira and you get for all your troubles something in the region of 150,000 naira across seven people. Now, five people stand the chance to win 10k each night. In fact, Five people will win 10K each night. And two will walk away with 50,000 Naira each night. Let me say it in pitching. If it be you. So go out there and start playing. You know, star 347 star. Star 347 hash star 880 um, hash is the number to play. It will cost you 200 Naira from your phone. Start winning. You can play as many times as possible. The more, the merrier. The more you play, the more your chances of winning. All right. Uh, got this message here from um, Timothy Nikorodu. Timothy says, ask the listeners that do they give them placenta abroad? Capital, no. It's considered trash. It's just a tradition and culture. You won't even see it abroad. My second child was born in Texas. They have no give us placenta. Oh, Sandra, Timothy. <laughs> I've got this one here. See, for me, it's all superstition. If we are to go by this, that means the beginning of time for Africa, the whole ground for don't fool. Okay. <laughs> We've got uh, this message here. Uh, Wellman. Wellman says, there is spiritual risk if a bad person sees it. Ordinary urine. If a bad person sees you urinating on a spot, they put something on that urine and the person will be drinking without controlling himself anymore. If you eat outside and bad persons see, they can poison it with eyes, let alone placenta that the baby stayed in. They can kill the person through that means, use the person for ritual of money through that means. Sandra, that tree your mother buried in that placenta, if bad person knows and they do charm in that tree, whatever happens to that tree will happen to you. Nobody is supposed to know. Hey, hey, hey. Interesting. Okay. But you see, that's the thing. Um... If burying it uh, um, grows it into a tree and somebody is bad and somebody goes to the tree to go and try and use it for your destiny, doesn't that mean that burying it is um, also risky? If you're trying to get in the way of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for now? If you're trying to get in the way of... Uh, um, somebody having access to the placentas because look my placentas were disposed of by the hospital the hospital like I had no dealings with them my husband had no deal my husband was beside me he didn't have uh, so like that why do you think I was shocked <laughs> you know so if burying it and it's growing up as a tree and somebody will have access to the tree to go and uh, speak into the tree uh, doesn't that defeat the purpose of burying it I, I don't I, I don't know. Are you are you following me here? <sighs> okay, we've got messages here. Uh, Sandra, I'm curious to know. Yes, I've answered the question. What's happened to the placenta? I've told you people. We've got this one from Babs. My mother-in-law burned it uh, in an iron bucket, then put the ashes in dustbin. Okay. 
We've got this one here from it, um, Ijoba in Goan Estate. Ijoba says, Sandra, it's an idea that we've been told to believe. Many cultures believe that if a stranger lays hand on the placenta, they can do bad things with the children's future. Last week, I saw a guy that looked like a madman with two sacks of used diapers, diapers of baby oil. I shock it is well. All right. We've got this one here, Sandra. My name is Peter. Believe me, that dog was sent from the village. <laughs> okay. Mark from Lecky says, it's always common for dogs to steal or eat placenta. In fact, they always check dustbins in search of this. I really don't understand why some people are claiming they haven't seen or heard that dogs eat placenta. I think the problem people have with this is that dog came inside the hospital and stole it. That's the story of the staff at the hospital, at least. Uh, K Baba says, placenta disposed is an ancient culture of Africans. It is being used diabolically against the spiritual future of the child. Okay, so what's the right way? of disposing the placenta what's the wrong way of disposing the placenta if you if it's a spiritual thing and there's a right way to dispose of it what happens with the child if you dispose of their placenta properly if you don't do the right thing whatever that right thing is what would happen with the child because I'm hearing lots of, oh, they're spiritual, they're spiritual, they're spiritual. And uh, fair enough, we've, we have had a few people who have called and said, eh, if a bad person intercepts the placenta, um, you know, uh, they could do something bad to the child. And I hear that, right? Um, but like, what type of bad things are we talking about here? Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll keep talking. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. This is Nigeria Info. You are listening to your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. This is Day Lauren Jones, the West Africa's leading business and financial content publication. Proudly presents its highly anticipated annual CEO forum for 2023. Taking place on the 13th of July, West Japan, managing in the age of volatility. We are honored to announce Ralph Nupita, the group CEO of MCM. As one of our guest speakers, he will share invaluable insights at the forum proudly sponsored by MCM. To register, visit concentrate.pgc.ng. For further inquiries, please call 0803-322-5506. Business Buzz, news keeping strong. Secondary School Graduates, Parents and Working Professionals Seeking to Enroll into the University. Labor Open University is admitting students for September 2023 and you only need knowledge and medical resource with 5 to pass it. We put you to type of schools that are in high demand within the job market. Application is free and you can return discounts and tuition fees when you apply. On. Applying now at www.university.com. <laughs> Okay, 
You only get for one and I'm sick of my stuff and I look so many more bow now. The guy who's sleeping on TV live is a crappy guy called Black Titan. Here's some hot news. around what to do with the RBD you've been chiefs and call us but you've been training and I want to hear from all the co-owners one of them how does your hospital health center and um, how does you dispose of demons are in steam home uh I think Dr. Colin A. Rock uh placenta's not medical with metal waste um I'm as in risks infection and oh, films how she had it so stop how if is it to bear it it's for me professionals now the crash is often for that however the don't you don't have to be for your face that what could be behind that what it was to do with blood things that happens you do the right thing with what happened People who bury it, people will be talking about why I bury it. Why I bury it? I've got a lot of people say that fish it. I'm like, okay. If it is really important to be saying, it's just flushing it, I don't know, um, distress, I don't know. I don't know. But then do bury it, what happens from there? And the reason I'm going to say is a very real story out of honesty where it's so fancy in placenta out of the placenta, the legend refused him, where he had pressed the leg into the leg, snorting, grabbed the placenta, and run away. Now it's believable, because you're not like me, don't ask him to show the time for me. So it's this time possible thing to, uh, you know, the, the story that I'm talking about is not only important to her. So I'm asking you. Do you saw your culture where you take these myths behind that? So people have called so far and said, oh, it's spiritual, uh, so that uh, evil people will not intercept it and do ritual with it. And I'm like, okay. What are you supposed to do with evil things? What happened? Right? 0 Hello. Thanks for calling us. What's your name, sir? Good evening. Ah, good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. What's your name? Good evening. I'm very well. What's your Oh, your, your network is not very good, though. Hi, sir. Are you, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Huh? Yes, this is much better. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, I can. Go ahead, please. Hello, sir. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Talk to me. Hello? Can you hear me, sir? All right, doesn't look like you can hear me. Sorry about that. 99.3? Hello, Sandra. How are you doing? What's your name? Good evening. Good evening. Grandma Molara from Italy. Talk to me, Grandma Molara. Yes. 
One thing I want us to establish mm -hmm. the fact that what you believe in usually works for you. Okay. In Yoruba land, mm. the placenta is regarded as um, the the way I can translate it. Uh, the child is Omo. Okay. And the placenta is called Ibi. Ibi. Which is evil. Okay. Which means evil in Yoruba. Okay. Because they believe good and evil go together. Okay. So when a woman gives birth, mm. they don't rejoice until the evil comes out. Mm. Because they believe if the evil stays too long in her, mm. she might die. Mm. Now, when the evil comes out, the next thing to do, because the evil was made from the soil, it has to go back to the smoke. Oh. That is the belief. Oh. See, this is why we need now, elders. Now, if uh, evil things can be done with the placenta, right? why are the people in Oto arresting the nurses? It's what they believe in, you know. I'm not saying otherwise. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. so that's just it. Okay, all right, Lagos. You see why you need elders. See, see how Grandma Lara just, you know, broke it down. Huh? ninety nine point three. Hello. <phone rings> Sorry about that. Give me a call back if you can. Hi. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? Hello, Sandra. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, talk to me. Uh, uh, placenta mm. is a mystery. It's a serious mystery in mm. mankind. Okay. And there is what they call placenta bondage. Okay. If there is problem in human being mm. where they bury the placenta of a child, mm. the thing will definitely affect that person. Okay. Nothing goes well. Okay. With the person. Okay. So right now we are now burying placenta. We don't bury placenta now. Okay. We burn it. I see. Are you getting me? I'm getting you, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. We not, right now, we mm. bury, we, we bomb placenta. Okay. Where nobody will see the, the press. Uh-huh. And, and locate the person. Huh. It's a, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. And it is where it. Oh, no, it looks like we lost the call, to, the connection to that uh, lady. Because, uh, I, I mean, I also want to ask, um, you know, if, uh, if, if, uh, if, the, if they start to mess up the life of the person as a result of discovering the location where their placenta was buried, is there a solution? What's the solution? We've got this message here. Uh, Sandra, placenta is believed to be the second birth of a baby that carries all the bad luck, evil, that might happen to the baby in life. Nearly every religion in Nigeria supported the burying of placenta because they believe it is spiritual and may have evil or negative impact on the life of the baby if sighted. Thus, the need to bury it in a far place. In my hospital, placentas are handed over to the newborn's father. Thank you. Kayode says, it's not only placenta that is full of mythical met, 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 is mythical mythology. Okay. Hope you've seen our bookie searching for menstrual pad and baby pad or nappy. Hmm. We've got this one here uh, from Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah, I think it's time to bring back that, my friend. You know, there's a guy I bring all the time on the show to come and talk about Juju. I don't know if you remember him. For those of you who listen a lot, um, he's a young man who's been traveling all around the country trying to find proof of Juju, trying to capture it on video. And he has offered as much as three million naira for anybody who can on camera in an environment of his own choosing prove to him that Juju is real. So maybe it's time to bring that gentleman back, you know, so that we can have a conversation about about these things we've got a uh, jeremiah nikeja who says placenta has spiritual implications else why has there been cases of medical practitioners selling babies placentas to spiritualists and people should stop linking the wrong method of the white to other people even though many of them are not careless about things of this kind you should have invited a minister probably from deliverance ministry who can bring out more truths 
<laughs> about placenta. But do you know placenta doesn't die on time? Ignorant is an excuse in this case because evil and cultists ritually look for it seriously anoint and um, but what? Uh okay oh you, you okay there's a okay i anointed and burned my baby my children's own as we've been told in church to do okay jeremiah thank you for your message i've i've i'm, I'm learning a lot today we've got ezekiel from ikorodu who says sandra the idea of taking the placenta of a newborn is to prevent it falling into the wrong hands to avoid it being used for rituals all right Caesar is from Cross River and Caesar says we bury our placentas. My mom says if you bury it deep, the child's tooth will take long to come out. So one has to bury it not too deep and one must bury it where no one sees. In my case, in my place, mostly it is buried in between where plantain grows. But the funny thing is I have a daughter of seven and her placenta was sent to me in Lagos by my wife when she was born and is still with me till now. Nothing has happened to the child and she's the most brilliant of all my kids. Maybe the next child I'll have, I'll keep the placenta safe and dry. It's inside my wardrobe because I wanted to go and bury it in the village, but I've not been to the village since. But I don't believe there's any spiritual anything attached to it. All right. So in Cross River, don't bury it too deep. Otherwise, um, their teeth will not come out early enough. That's in the teeth of the child will not come out early enough. But when you don't bury it too deep, are you not risking maybe rain um, digging out the placenta, which will then put it in the hands of the people that go and pick, you know, what my friend here is alleging that people go to pick in trash, you know? I've got information to share with you very quickly. Well, one play wants me to let you know that they have upped their prize money nightly to 150 thousand naira i was going to say million there but it's actually thousand one hundred and fifty thousand naira there and of course you know it used to be seventy five thousand naira. they've doubled it and they've also doubled how much it will cost you to play it now 200 naira you use 200 naira and get 50k every night how does that happen well two people will be getting fifty thousand naira and five will be walking away with 10,000 naira each. That makes a total of seven people who get to win up from three before. So it's massive. It's absolutely massive this time around. And still, all you get to do to play is that star 347 star 880 hash. Well, there's also another step behind it. Now, follow me, please. Uh, so that star 347 star 880 star um, star 3 hash. That is star 347 star 880 star three hash then specify the number of tickets or entries that you want to play and then choose your bank if you do not find your bank there then press nine for more options um choose number one that is the um, the number one to continue you will get an sms with instructions on how to make payments you can use the ssd code from your bank to make payment as in maybe you are using a uba uh, account uh, you could go um star 919 star 00 star 3 five five four hash put in your pin select your account press send and just like that the transaction is complete and you are in the draws you can play as many times as possible listen in at 10 25 tonight to add that blessing when she will be picking the seven lucky winners and of course these numbers get picked by a computer so it's not her it's just a computer picking all she does is announce the results this opportunity is not open to people who are under the age of 18 and while you play please play responsibly now one play is a registered trademark of lasho trading services limited registered under the laws of the federal republic of nigeria licensed and regulated by the lagos state lotteries and gaming commission to pro to conduct gaming betting and lottery activities in nigeria terms and conditions do apply and while you're at it please start playing play as many times as possible and start winning too all right i remember a time my neighbor's friend visited her to congratulate her on her safe delivery i offered i overheard my neighbor telling her friend that she will eat the placenta that placenta is very nutritious when she asked her why she brought it home in an island i don't know if she was serious about it or not well yes i remember that uh, kim kardashian ate her own uh, uh, baby's placenta after she, she had the baby. And if you look at other animals, like, you know, other mammals, they all eat their placenta. When a cat gives birth, it eats its placenta. When a dog gives birth, it eats its placenta. So I think um, it probably tallies, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, some people 
would eat their placenta. There are probably other cultures in other parts of the world where people just eat the placenta. Eguyenga uh, Ifechukude <laughs> says, Placenta is a product of spirituality that needs to be handled with care. Strangers are not meant to have access to it. One's destiny can spiritually be tampered with uh, through placenta. All right. Uh, this guy is texting us from Asaba. Lagos, I want to thank everyone who has called in, um, you know, to share their own uh, beliefs about placentas, what they did with their own child's placenta, what was done with their own placenta. I think it's all been really interesting learning how important this thing is to you uh, and the practices around it as well. Also learning the roots of uh, some of the beliefs, uh, especially for those who are Yoruba, thanks to uh, Grandma Omolara, who called in to share hers. All right. To each their own, thank you very much for listening. I will be back tomorrow at 3, bringing you the big three. Those are your hard facts. Stay goes. Good night. <laughs> some like it hot. Some like it cold. Some like it in a mug. Some like it on the road. That's right. Whatever your hustle, stay refreshed and ready with the creamy, great-tasting 